Hi everyone. Um, today I have a project share. I made this wreath since spring is here. So I just want to show you step by step how I made this wreath. Actually I made two, but let me just begin with this one. Okay, so just a moment. Okay, I started off with this um, foam ring uh, to make wreaths that they sell at any craft store. And then also, I bought this yarn from Michaels. I got it from their clearance section. Uh, I don't have the packaging. Okay, I thought I had the, the little packaging thing so you could see what brand it is. But anyway, this whole thing was three dollars uh, because it was on clearance, like I said. So what I did was I wrapped this ring all the way. I, I wrapped this yarn all the way around this ring, and uh, this is what I. This is what it looks like after it's all covered with that yarn. Okay, then I had um, I made this flower right here, this shabby looking flower with cheesecloth that came already in that color. And this is uh, cheesecloth from Hobby Lobby. Very lovely um, aqua pastel. I just love this color so much. Okay, so that that's this flower and the center I made using this trim from Mood Designer Fabrics and I made my own center piece. I actually made a smaller one as you can see. This is a larger one for a future project. So I made it with uh, felt and then I popped a flat back pearl and glued these uh, aqua pearl trim around so it gave me a nice center okay so let's see then I bought these uh, flowers from Michaels like uh, some weeks ago, two three weeks ago, I can't remember. And I pulled, I pulled one of these um, petals, see, like you see, like you see, and actually two. And I and I glued them. I staggered them, and then just popped a flat back pearl, like so. And. I chose the you know the darker tones and um, then on some of them like this one here I attached these uh, uh, stamen, flower stamen that I have here and it's one of these okay so and then Oh, these, these petals right here come from another uh, uh, flower that I got. It's from this one. I took this off and just popped one there. Okay, like so. And this is a flower that I handmade also. I have a tutorial on it in, in one of my videos. Uh, so I... Uh, placed all these flowers wherever I thought uh, looked pretty but before I glued any of this I wanted to I wanted the wreath to have uh, this all of these dangles and these dangles came from various places this is one that came from Michaels I cut it in half it was one uh, like an inch and a half wide so I cut it in half and this one came from AC Moore this uh, 
and this came from one of my thrifting uh, finds and then also I, I put some of these pearls that like I just showed you this comes from AC Moore and these from Michaels or Hobby Lobby so yeah and then also eyelash trim which makes kind of soft and stings up and also this pretty pretty yarn that I found that when I was thrifting see how pretty that is I got that from a thrift shop it was came like this and it was 99 cents so there's plenty in there and it's got three colors so that was a good deal okay and uh, among my things I had these uh, sprays which are actually this came from AC Moore so and I put that there and uh, I also had these in my stash for a while and I popped these kind of around each flower as you can see okay and on both sides on the outer part of the ring and on the other side as well you can see there okay so also I popped these uh, flower sprays which I love 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 so much and those came from Hobby Lobby I wish I would never run out of these I have to get more look how pretty they are it's just uh, yummy <laughs> okay and then I had these in my stash and I popped a few of these right there and right there yeah that's pretty much it and uh, as for the hanging uh, hanger I put this trim from Michaels like I like I have right here oh and also I forgot these uh, I popped just this much of these uh, pearls dangling pearls they, they give a nice accent to projects and that I got from came from Hobby Lobby like this yeah so that's okay so that's my uh, first uh, wreath uh, please forgive me I'm kind of forgetful here uh, it's very well to me it's very warm today we have here in New York what, what they call a fever spring it's uh, uh, mid 70s and that to me it's <laughs> that's as much as I can tolerate so anyway so now I'm gonna show you oh before I forget I have this butterfly among my things I gessoed it because I thought it looked pretty prettier and now what I was thinking is uh, about just attaching that butterfly there or somewhere let's see uh, yeah perhaps I don't know if you could see there or I don't know what do you think let me know should I include that little well, it's not little, but <laughs> that pretty whimsical butterfly, or should just should I just leave it alone? I couldn't make up my mind. And look how long the dangles are. Let me know what you think. Butterfly? No butterfly. <laughs> okay, I I need your opinion. Okay, now I want to show you the other one I made quickly same concept started off with this ring you can find this at any craft store and I bought this yarn from 
Oh, I can't remember if it was Michael's or Joanne's fabrics. I'm not even sure. But I know I used a, a coupon on this one. It's just so pretty. It's a very lovely pink. It's a chenille yarn. And, uh, yeah. So this is what I used to wrap this foam ring with. Okay, so once that was done, that step was done, I, uh, oh, I started to, here's the whole thing, it's kind of long. <laughs> I started to uh, attach these dangles before I put the flowers there, as you can see in here. Yeah, so... So here are the dangles. Okay, I really love this one. And uh, then I started uh, playing around, sort of uh, uh, arranging them. Yeah, these handmade flowers. I made, uh, you know, all, all these uh, past months a little bit at a time. And I have a tutorial on these flowers and if you're interested. Uh, so anyway, I made this flower here for example with the same kind of uh, cheesecloth I was telling you about on the other wreath. This is a like a peachy pink. It's just beautiful. It's from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance. And uh, what else did I do here? Um, Oh, so I I bought these flower sprays from Jo no, not Jo uh, AC Moore yeah AC Moore so I kind of like arranged them to see if I how I like the uh, the wreath and I popped one on each side of those sprays and I gessoed the stems. Because I thought it would look prettier, you know, more shabby with this kind of gesso. It, it could be any brand. I like this one. And what else? Uh, okay, so yeah, I attached the flowers, the stems, and then I also made a little nest, as you can see here. A little nest for these little birds. I bought these birds from a craft store in. Uh, Pennsylvania it's a small craft store it's called biters so this is what the bird looked like this color so cute so little I it's hard to find this size of bird I mean look at him compared to my nail <laughs> so cute so tiny okay so I didn't think it would match well it could probably match but I wanted it to look um, more, uh, you know, a softer color, a softer pink. So I bought this from Michael's, I believe any craft store will have this. And this is a vintage pink. And it's called Seashell. And this is a really, really nice pastel pink. So I painted the birds. I painted them and when the paint dried, I put this glitter. This is a very, very fine dust, like dust glitter. Very pretty. I got this from Michaels. So I put this glitter on the birdies. As you can, I don't know if you could see. It's so cute. And uh, for as for the uh, hanger, I put this organza ribbon that I got from the dollar store it's this it's six yards for a dollar that was a good deal so and then two flat back pearls right there yep and uh, as also as part of the dangles I got these uh, lace trims from Michaels I just cut it in half 
and I found this at a thrift store it was already like this it was 99 cents and I put some of it as part of the dangles too it's a uh, trim I mean yarn the cotton yarn and that's it pretty much so and then some of these came from my thrifting um, purchases some of these laces okay so this is my spring one more of my spring wreaths I'll give you a close-up I think my favorite part is are the little birds they're so sweet and yummy <laughs> and the dangles so pretty <laughs> okay so I hope uh, you like my project I hope it has inspired you go ahead and make make beautiful wreaths and uh, as far as the butterfly let me know if I should include include it here on this wreath and well that's all folks thank you for watching bye bye